Okay. Welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 Blind. I'm going to be playing, I've decided, a 100% file on Donkey Kong 64. And that is the first time I have ever seen that intro. I know the song because I play Smash Bros, but I mean, I've never actually listened to that song before, all the way through. So. That was kind of interesting. I find it fun how this game is rated for kids, and yet in the intro it says he's one hell of a guy. So that's my first impression of this game. It's going to be a long, long playthrough. I have a feeling, because like I said, I'm going for a hundred percent, and I don't know how big this game is. I'm aware of some of the. So, play this one. I'm aware of some of the collectibles in this game, but again, I have no idea what the story behind this game is. This is literally my first time putting in the game and turning it on. I know, I've know i not seen anything on YouTube about this game, and I do not know how to play this game, 
and I thought it would be fun because all these years I've never played it so let's go ahead and try it for the first time alright so let's start game number one it squawks probably um... in terms of how I'm going to split these per episode because I don't kind of want to play the game for a while and then just kind of cut it at a part where I'm kind of in the middle of something. So it's probably going to be best if I just cut it. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll find out. When I reach spots where I think I need to stop playing, we'll see. I won't try to go too long, but you never know what happens. Alright, so we got Donkey Kong Island in the shape of a monkey. You guys will get to see a lot of first time reactions in this one. I don't play too many blind LPs because I find it takes away from the commentary just kind of going, uh, where do I go and getting lost, but... I don't know. I, I really enjoy games made by Rare. Um, I will still be uploading Banjo-Tooie when this gets started upload. In fact, I probably won't have finished StarCraft by the time I've up started uploading this. So this might replace StarCraft if I can't finish some of the later missions because I'm kind of getting caught up. So. Obviously, King K. Rule. So I wonder what's going on here. Some sort of power failure. ship is having some sort of trouble and crash. Okay. I wonder how they brought back King K. Rule after he lost in Donkey Kong Country 3. Or maybe this game just follows a different storyline altogether. Who knows? Gods! I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, your excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> I hope for your sake, you're right this time. No. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden bananas, three bitten friends, I'll be preparing my lizard flavored surprise. <laughs> so, if Donkey Kong was trapped, and his friends were too, then why is he back here? Squawk, DK, come quickly, they're gone. They're all gone. Ah! 
Maybe it's just a hologram, I... I don't know. Okay, so I'm controlling DK. A is our jump. B slaps some shit around. Pressing B multiple times is a ground slap. Uh, is there anything we can collect in here before we go? Here we got a interesting poster of Candy Kong. Uh, cameras are pretty simple. We got a dolphin for some reason. So see up. None of the other. What was that? Oh, I'm just slipping on banana peels. Okay, let's go outside. DK's treehouse. Squawk, your precious banana horde and all the other Kongs have vanished. I can't find them anywhere, DK. You better go and tell Cranky. Oh, I missed the rest of that. Hmm. Way out. Training area. What's over here? Cranky's lab. Banana horde. So I guess if I'm going to Cranky, I better... Oh, yeah, there's Cranky. And running and pressing B does this. Interesting. Makes you move faster? Okay. So Cranky's a mad scientist in this game. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good-for-nothing son. Son? Lost your golden bananas again, and where you might f leave it and friends be. You don't know, do you? I'd have thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily, you... For you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having any until you've completed my training girls. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. Okay. So this is the game's tutorial, I guess. What did Cranky mean about training? Whoa. This game doesn't really give you much option to read. Okay, let's see. So C... C left and right. Control is kind of where you move. Oh. My camera seems stuck behind Donkey Kong. There's probably a way around that in the options, I imagine. Oh, this is zoom out. I think. Yep. Alright, let's see what these training barrels are. What kind of tutorial is this teaching me how to play? Squawk! Press A to leap from one vine to another, and R when holding A vine to face the other way. Press Z to drop from a vine, now go collect the coin at the end. Okay, so you're given a time limit, and you can't jump up on these. Okay. Whoa. Nope. Z's to drop. Okay. Not a fan of these camera controls so far, but that's probably just me. Whoa. Ah! Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna get the hang of this as I play the game. But right now, this is like... Whoops. Oh, I guess you just have to press A to let go. The game seems to do a lot of the aiming for you, you, you by yourself on the vines. I just kind of pressed the A button and I made it from one to the next. Okay, so vines probably important. Let's see what this one is. Squawk! Press B to pick up a barrel. Press B again to throw it and pick up the barrels. Okay, so I guess I'm just picking them up and throwing them. So, that's pretty easy. Well done! Well done! Okay, there's another training barrel. So, vines, barrels... Let's see what this one is. Squawk! Pick up the oranges and hold Z, then press C, lie right to throw them. Just throw five oranges and you're done here. Brock! 
Okay. So oranges explode. But they kind of bounce. Okay. Let's check out the last training barrel. This game has some pretty complex things for a Donkey Kong game. Swimming. Squawk! Press Z to dive underwater, then press and hold A or B to swim at different speeds. Press Z will act as a water break to slow yourself down. Prove yourself by collecting coin at the end. Brock! Okay, so that is to swim fast, and B is to swim slowly. No, I've played a lot of Banjo Kazooie, I know how to swim. Cool. And then, of course, I had to slow down, but I never tried that out. Squawk! Hurry, DK! Go get that potion from Cranky! Let's get back to work! I really wish this game wouldn't auto-exit the... the, uh... the text. It should at least let you read it. Like, seriously. Like, seriously. Okay, so Cranky the Mad Scientist, let's get your potion. Hey, you took your time, donkey. Jungle rust set in, did it or something. Okay, so Simeon Slam, Buttaspashium. So I guess this game goes by an upgrade kind of way. Right, you and your missing buddies will be able to ground them by pressing A to jump and then Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing, I got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. Okay, I'll see you later if you're lucky. Okay, so the Simeon Slam. Okay, it seems you can long jump in this game. By holding Z and then pressing A. And by standing and press Z, you got the, the big one. Okay. So where do I want to go? This is the banana horde, I think. No, this might be the way out. Let's find out. Okay, well there's nothing in here. here. We have a DK patch, I'm not sure what that does, but... DK patch. Imagine it would let you do something with an upgrade, or because you get different Kongs in this game, it might let you switch between them, or it could be a checkpoint, you know, at this point, I really couldn't tell you, but I would say it's probably one of those. Aha! A switch! Okay. So, of course, the butt slump is always A and then Z in the air. Or A and then A in the air, or something like that. Squawk! He's back! DK King K. Rose Island's just over there. He must be the ones who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is that island with a cave on it over there. Brock! Okay, so the only place that hasn't been blocked off is. What's this? Find a similar number pad in the same area and press Z to banana port between the two. So it's not teleporting, it's banana porting. Alright, well let's activate all these then. So stand on and then press Z, but I haven't unlocked any, so... I guess I can't really do that yet. So I guess I have to go over there. I wonder if I can swim there. Of course, doing this is the fastest way of swimming. We've activated a one, so... Banana port to a similar one. Okay, so... One takes you to one, two takes you to two, three takes you to three, four takes you to four, five takes you to five. Okay. So it's not like... 
one, then two, then three, then four, then five, and stuff like that. That is very frightening. Bo ho ho! Oh hi, my name's K Lumsy. And I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys. So I said no. Sniff K Rule says I'm too soft to be a Kremlin and I'm to stay here until I've toughened up. Sob and I'll do anything to be freed again. Hey little monkey, perhaps you could help poor old Clumsy escape. Oh go on, I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help Clumsy. What a nice guy. Those keys look very... something... something is up with that. So he opens up... a banana. Oh, Clumsy's so happy now, but K. Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get a hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rule, though. This has to be our little secret. Okay, so he opened up a banana. It's cool that it renders the background but then you can't really do anything from there okay so he opened up this back here so let's go ahead and grab this banana because it looks important a watermelon piece Okay, so I have one banana then. Cool. Now what? Okay, this barrel here. This must be to switch between the Kongs. But I don't have any other Kongs, so... Hmm. Alright, well... Over here must be K. Rule's Island. So let's see what's over here. Hmm, where'd it go? Imagine this game is broken up into worlds as it's a rare game. And most rare games are broken up into individual worlds. This is really dark on my TV. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here yet, too. Okay, well, I guess not. I need Tiny Kong. Okay. Whoops. Oh, there's a banana back here. I think. But I can't get it because I need some purple blob. Okay. Alright, let's see what's over here. Come on, I hope this dark color goes away the further I get away from the island. Alright, well this island doesn't seem to be anything, it's just sort of a rock. So I guess we'll have to return back over to Donkey Kong Island. Hopefully returning via warp will help the color come back. Oh, there's the color. Okay, let's try back over here. There we go. Oh wait a sec, this was an opening. There was a banana in the opening. Okay. Okay, well I can't blow this up quite yet. Over here, you dumb ape, thumb the mighty blocker. You think for one minute you're coming here without showing me some of your stupid golden bananas? <laughs> If I disobey that fat old fool, K. Rule, it's the big sawmill in the sky for Pronto and I can get my wooden butt out of here. 
Okay, well that was hard to read. Kept moving his uh, text box from left to right. Come on, I haven't got... Okay, well because I had one golden banana, I guess he's letting me enter. Okay. So the golden bananas are used... Scenes are very weird because Donkey Kong is out and adventuring, but he's there for some reason. DK, gather as many bananas as you can before going through one of the portals. Okay. Collect 75 or more bananas, DK, and you'll, you'll earn a banana medal. Okay, so. Cranky said that I needed 15 banana medals. So you get banana medals by collecting bananas. Let's go ahead and... Oh, so you just like... Okay. Whoa! I kind of pressed it the wrong part of the jump there. Okay, so we just entered World 1 after watching the confusing cinematics. I think this is a good place to end the first episode. So on the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, we are going to be exploring Jungle Japes. And from there we are going to see what we can do in World 1. Alright, what is there to collect? All I know is that there's bananas, there's banana medals now, and apparently there's banana coins. So hopefully there's just that. Alright. So, see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. See you guys next time. Ugh, that's kind of weird.